Today is parliamentary election day. Why is slander so powerful? In the first story, when the great benefactor had provided all beneficence, all was good. The other voice said, the slanderer, the enemy, his voice said, God did not give it all. He kept back from you knowledge that would make you like him. So that was a slander against God's character, that God didn't give the best, that in fact God kept back the best. And Eve believed this, Adam believed this. How can it be? Having fathered everything so well provided, how could they believe evil against the best? Then you will understand why slander is so powerful and people believe evil about others easily. Slander has a wisdom that is demonic, that is earthy and very cantankerous. Immediately you can set two people, two good friends up with a little bit of slander. Do you know what he said about you? And people immediately take the poison right into their liver, the proverb says. So slander can have as background jealousy that two are getting on well. Slander can separate the best of friends. Slander can separate spouses. I know of a family where the neighbor fed slander to the daughter against the parents and the parents had a hard time recovering her. Uh, so uh, take care of what you hear because our earth is full of atmosphere, is full of all kinds of fiery darts. And we have a nature in us that is contrary to God, our own nature, the obstinate nature, the upstart nature. It's a fifth columnist inside us. It listens and gathers garbage. It's called the flesh in the word of God. And it's the voice that comes speaking to you. The same voice that spoke to Adam, spoke to Jesus Christ also, make stones, make bread out of stones. So that's the next would have been uh, something far worse than bread, make it out of stone. See all what you have before you, I want to give you. Your father has made a cross for you, very hard cup for you, but I will give it to you on a platter. The slanderer came. And we are told in the 40 days in the temptation, the slanderer came. And the slanderer came at Gethsemane also. Uh, so we know that the slanderer's voice is called Satan because Satan in the Hebrew language means adversary or enemy. What have you been listening recently? A child believes childlike, innocent, but a time comes, the same tempter, the same adversary get into a child and begins to speak against the parents. This is why parents must be careful what you speak in front of your children because they will believe and act according to what they hear. So if you speak slander about others, run down about people you have helped you, then the kids pick up that my parents speak behind the back. That's the way to go. Get the best and speak otherwise, slander. So take care of what you uh, say at home, discuss at home about figures that have helped you, people who have helped you, and your children will do that to you. That's the thing. So where do kids learn this? They learn it at home. Of course, they learn it from the digital screen also. Uh, so you wonder why children are toxic. The things they got at home in their early years and they lose the hope of the spirit which is innocent, next best, that's how God sent them to earth with the God's core, next best working in a child. But when they hear toxicity at home, toxicity from the screen, the soul struggle becomes intense and the hope in the spirit goes down. Then the child is already into a problem of mistrust. This is where toxicity has its effect. The mistrust was bred in the child. They are not giving you the best you could have, is what the voice is saying. It's an ancient voice. So there are many uh, seminars on psychology about mental health and so on. I have done many professional seminars. I am Dr. Alit Mendes. 
I was head of pharmacology in the state medical faculty. Since then, I'm director of Columbia Empathic Learning Center. Brain and screen research is what I pioneered. Uh, besides the professional side to it, there is a spiritual side where children's heart move towards mistrust. They lose their belonging. They lose their sense of worth. They lose their loyalty. Then anybody can exploit them. Their own voices, their deception exploits them. I want to talk to you about this further, but uh, please send me a WhatsApp number that I may send a, topic, uh, a topical clip on these lines to, you can send a WhatsApp to 074-211-5011. If you need a counseling appointment for your kid, the two of you have to come, and you can give a call to my secretary, 077-151-2801. It's a no cost consultation because this was a research project that I began and it has helped me really academically and to understand what kids go through and how parents and teachers can get together to help. Thank you for listening. We'll meet again.